Welcome to Foam Week TV, brought to you by SprayFoamLeads.com. I'm Heather Westrell, and here's what's happening this week on Foam Week. MJL Associates took on a project to insulate a 500,000 square foot warehouse used to service commercial freight that transports goods on the Connecticut Southern Railroad. The crew applied Geico wall foam, Geico Western's two pound closed cell spray foam to seal the building's envelope, spanning a total spray area of 12,000 square feet. MJL Associates owner Michael Lieto noted that there was a substantial change in the building's interior climate as it was able to retain a great deal of heat as well as deaden the loud noises produced by the surrounding factories. Six months after they had SPF installed in their home, Andy and Anitra Kitfield had their experience documented by the hit television show Designing Spaces Think Green. The Kitfield's home is a 1952 Cape Cod style home located in the heart of Virginia and was insulated with Demolex spray foam. When asked whether her expectations were met by having Demolex spray foam insulation installed in her attic and basement, Anitra said, uh, Yeah, it's, it's been so much better than I even could have possibly imagined, especially with this old house. I just don't think it gets that good. To catch the full interview, read the story on sprayfoam.com. Finally this week, closed cell SPF was used on a project to insulate two additions above and below ground for a mine in the Colorado mountains. At a 14,000 foot elevation, the newly reopened Revenue Virginia Silver Mine proved a tough place to work for the crew members of Aerofoam Insulation, which was brought in for the project. Aerofoam applied SPF to an above ground room used for the propane storage and to a below ground area that will be used as a service shop for heavy machinery. A total of 21 sets of foam were installed during the project. For more information on these stories and more, visit SprayFoam.com. I'm Heather Westrell, and that's what's happening on Foam Week.